Hi everyone, I am Anonymous Traveler. We have discussed Kali Yuga for the survival strategy, and today I will talk about the last D, the detachment. Previously, we have discussed the first three Ds, which are number one, discipline, number two, drop, number three, disengage, and if you are new to this lecture series, please check out the playlist link down below where you can find previous lectures. Now, we need to discuss the final and the ultimate stage of a 4D survival strategy. However, I have to make one thing clear. For most solar navigators, Working on the first 3D is good enough for the survival in Kali Yuga. The final stage is an optional one. From stage 1 to stage 3, all those qualities are absolutely necessary for the survival of solar navigators in this time of Kali Yuga. However, there are diverse leanings and aspirations in the solar navigators themselves. Some are more leaning toward academic affairs such as philosophy, history, etc. Some are more leaning toward spiritual quest, etc. And those who have this spiritual urge or a sense of a spiritual quest are in a way, can be described as warrior monk or spiritual swordman. There are very few people who belong to this category. And the last D, the detachment, is an optional D, and it is preserved for these special people. It is a pinnacle of the noble warrior class realizing their highest potential. It is appealing to only the most daring warriors among us. Life is war, and the biggest enemy, or the hardest battle, is conquering oneself. You can crush your enemy left and right, but if you cannot conquer yourself, then you cannot claim to be the ultimate champion, the pinnacle of a warrior class. So, the last stage of the detached is the level only preserved for the very special kind of solar navigators. It is a level where one has conquered entire structure of duality. When people hear the word duality, they usually think about man and woman, or sun and the moon, etc. But duality goes far deeper than that. Duality is comprised of two things, that is, pulling and pushing. In order to maintain the communal gravity of this world, it requires both of pulling and pushing. This whole set of gravity is carefully manipulated by Demiurge and his archons. As long as one's existence is dictated by these pulling and pushing forces, one is still trapped by Demiurge. But for those who attained the detachment, the movement of pulling and pushing away no longer dictate them. Pulling means our craving for communal gravity and all it has to offer. Pushing away means the opposite action of pulling. It means you are upset and agitated due to certain things. The detachment is the level where one's automatic response of pulling or pushing away disappeared for good. It is a moment when the communal gravity collapses for good. 
And yes, those solar navigators who mastered first three Ds are already superior beings compared to other normal human beings. However, they still have a weakness, i.e. their own Achilles heel. But the solar navigators who attain the final D, the detachment, is like one without Achilles heel. This is the state where one has crossed the threshold to the realm of non-duality. The duality and all it can offer, including all the pleasures and enjoyment of this world, cannot dictate or force the one who has crossed the threshold or, in other words, reached the ultimate state, the detachment. At this point, he or she is no longer a human. At this point, he or she is a different species altogether and cannot be compared to other humans. It is completely alien state of being and human language cannot describe this one. However, one can briefly experience or glimpse into this uncanny state of existence even before reaching the final and the ultimate D, the detachment. This usually happens for those in the stage of number three, disengage, but time to time, it can happen to those who still in the stage of number two, drop. But unless one has reached the stage four, the detachment, this uncanny alien experience is just temporarily. Only the one who attained the final D stage can enjoy the continuous state of this uncanny alien experience that defies any of human description. So, these four Ds are available tools or strategy for the solar navigators to survive in this time of Kali Yuga. Also, there are some techniques which are useful for solar navigators, and I will discuss them in the future lectures. Thanks for listening, and all the best.